Hello and welcome to Big Friendly Grub. I hope you're doing well. And I'm kind of flying by the seat of my pants today. Well, to be honest, I'm kind of flying by the seat of my pants in every single video because I still don't know what I'm doing. But I'm doing it more so today because I woke up this morning and I, to be honest, I didn't really have any sort of idea about what I was going to be making for today's video. So I was just having a think and trying to come up with ideas. And yeah, I've been looked out the window and saw how sunny it is and how sunny it's been recently. I was just thinking just how nice it would be just to go for a picnic or something. And that's when it hit me. Dramatic music. That's when it hit me that I should do something around picnic food. We love a good picnic here in the UK. We love taking various foods and items and going off to sit in the field and get bombarded by wasps and ants and all other terrible kinds of insects just to ruin your day. But for some reason that's ingrained in our culture and we just love taking food out and going eating somewhere nice. And it is kind of lovely really, even with all the plethora of insects that come and join you. So I thought I'd maybe turn it into a little mini series and perhaps do a few videos based around classic picnic foods that you can take with you on a picnic and enjoy and easily eat and easily make, which I will hopefully show you today. And we're gonna start off with the time-honored sausage roll. Hey, sausage roll. Hey, sausage roll. <coughs> Excuse me. Yes, so I'm going to be making sausage rolls. They are so easy because you can pretty much pick up everything ready done. Just got to combine it with the flavours that you want. You can obviously do like super mega awesome gourmet sausage rolls, which I'll, perhaps I'll show you another day. But today I want to show you how to just create sausage rolls from the bare basics. Because if you're making food for your own picnic, you don't want to spend ages and ages. You want to be able to not to get the stuff quickly. Obviously you can just go to the supermarket and pick up a big batch of sausage rolls for like a quid, but they're not great to be honest. So these ones you're going to be able to make, tailor yourselves. And I'm going to show you some of my favorite seasonings to put into the sausage meat to create lovely sausage rolls. So I'm not going to keep talking. Let's get started with making our sausage rolls. I'm enticing you over to my sausage rolls. I'm gonna stop doing that, that's super weird. So to get started with our sausage rolls, we're gonna need a handful of ingredients. I think a sausage roll is quite a personal thing in that you can tailor it pretty much however you want. I'm going with a classic pork sausage roll today, um, but you can make these super fancy by putting all sorts of other ingredients in it. And perhaps I'll show you how to do some gourmet sausage rolls another day. Or maybe I'll show you how to do a vegan sausage roll one day because those are very popular at the moment unless you're a dubious TV personality who kind of gets wound up by every little thing who maybe rhymes with here's Porgan. But today I'm just going to be showing you how to do a classic sausage roll and what you're going to need is these ingredients. So you can have a look at these ingredients, maybe pause the screen, write them down, or you can also find these ingredients down in the YouTube description or on my website. Go check them out there as well. These are a guide, you know, with the seasonings and things, you can mix them up, you can just do whatever you want with them. So for these particular sausage rolls, we're gonna need some ready-made puff pastry. There's absolutely nothing wrong with using ready-made puff pastry. In fact, I would encourage it just because trying to make homemade puff pastry is super long and complicated and to be honest, I've already done it like a couple of times. So pick up a sheet of ready-made puff pastry already rolled out because we're gonna want this exactly how it is. You can pick up blocks of ready-made puff pastry, but they are not rolled out and this is exactly the shape we need. So try and get hold of this stuff if you can. And the good thing is it's vegan. Not that it makes a difference for these pork sausage rolls, but if you are making vegan sausage rolls, then you can use this. Then we are going to need probably about 450 grams worth of sausage meat. Now you can pick up sausage meat just by itself, but it's not always easy to get hold of around this time of year. It crops up a lot more around Christmas when people are making more and more homemade sausage rolls and things like that. So what you can do is just pick up a eight pack of sausages and they usually come to around 450 grams. I've gone for some fairly basic sausages here because we're going to be seasoning them up ourselves and making them a lot nicer. These have still got the skin on, but all you have to do is simply squeeze squeeze the sausage meat out of the skins and then you can season this up however you like. So if you can't get sausage meat by itself, no problem at all. Just pick up a good pack of sausages. And if you pick up like really fancy sausages, a lot of the seasoning will be done for you already. So you might not even have to do the seasoning step on this if you picked up some really nice sausages already. But these are fairly plain bog standard sausages. So we will be seasoning them up ourselves with our own stuff, stuff being seasoned. Then we're gonna need a couple of eggs to do an egg wash. So this is gonna help us seal up our pastry and also give it a nice golden color by giving it an egg wash. And then for the seasonings to go into the sausage meat itself, 
I am going to be using a little nutmeg because I find that goes very, very nicely into sausage meat. Some garlic granules, some cayenne pepper, just a pinch. Smoked paprika, this will give it a lovely smoky flavour, almost akin to chorizo. Alternatively, you could pick up chorizo sausages just to use that straight away. Cuts out the middleman, the middleman being smoked paprika. Salt and pepper, and I like to add in a bit of Dijon mustard just to give it a like, lovely mustardy kick. Not too hot, this Dijon mustard, it just gives you that nice mustardy flavour. You could use English mustard if you wanted a bit of heat in there, or even whole grain mustard if you wanted to have a little bit of texture and a little bit of the grains of mustard in there. Entirely up to you, or you can leave it out entirely, but I think this goes really, really well with the pork. So that's pretty much it. It's mostly seasonings, and you can tailor those to yourselves. Everything else is really quite simple, quite basic, and you can pick it all up in your local supermarket. So enough talking, let's get sausage rolling. So the most important aspect of a sausage roll is, of course, the sausage, or the sausage meat in this case. And as I said before, we're getting this from our actual sausages. So all we need to do with these is actually just squeeze the meat out of the skin. And it's quite gross, but you grab your sausage, and you just squeeze all the meat out of the center like this. It seems quite gross, but you just grab it all. So that's your sausage meat just squeezed out of your sausage. And you just repeat this for each sausage, grab your meat and squeeze it out of the sausage, just like that. And you just simply repeat that each time. It's that simple. So I'm gonna do this for the rest of these sausages so we can skip to the end. So that's all of our sausage meat squeezed out of our sausages. So what we need to do now is get this all seasoned up with our preferred seasonings. So I'm gonna start off with about half a tablespoon of smoked paprika. This will give it a lovely red color as well. Then I'm gonna go with about half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. This gives it a lovely bit of heat and a bit of kick, but if you don't want that, don't include it. Then I'm going for about half a tablespoon of garlic granules as well. And then we want just literally just a pinch of nutmeg. So just literally just a quick shake <laughs> because there is such a thing as a lethal dose of nutmeg. I can't remember what it is, but it's really not too much. It's probably about a couple of teaspoons. So you just want to pinch of that, literally just pinch. And we're going to add in some salt, a few brines of that. Not too much because the pork will be quite naturally salty anyway. And some grinding of some lovely black pepper which goes oh so well with pork. And then I'm going to pop in about a teaspoon of... I'm going to hit my head on my extractor fan, that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to add in a couple of teaspoons of our Dijon mustard as well. Then what you're going to do is you can get a wooden spoon if you want to and mix this all together. But I prefer to get in with my hands. So you just want to get in there and in the words of Ainsley Harriet, just want to give your meat a good old rub. <laughs> yeah, boy. <coughs> yes. So get in there, just mix together all of that spice and seasoning into your sausage meat. Mix it through, just kind of almost knead it like a dough, just to make sure you get it all in there. What I can really smell in there is that mustard, and I absolutely adore that mustard flavour in this sausage meat, in these sausage rolls. So there you go, that is all mixed into our sausage meat. And you can see it's got a lovely bit of an orangey tinge on it now, which is all that smoked paprika and the mustard in there has given it that lovely orangey tinge. And it's gonna give it a wonderful flavor. So I'm gonna go wash my hands now because they're all mucky. And then we'll get on with the actual forming of the sausage roll. That is the international sign for sausage roll. It's true, look it up, don't look it up. So to make our actual sausage rolls, we're just gonna to need to get our puff pastry and roll it out. Because this is chilled puff pastry, I have had it out of the fridge probably about for a good 15, 20 minutes before actually using it here. So that makes it just easier to unfold it. Otherwise you might end up with some cracking, which I haven't got, which is brilliant. With that rolled out, we're gonna to need to take probably about half of this sausage meat and probably just lay it across here. And then all you do is roll it, form it across roll it across, whatever you want to do. Now you can really pack these out depending on how big you want your sausage rolls because how many sausage rolls you get out of these is entirely up to you. You can make them smaller so you can spread them across more people or make them big so you can use them for like breakfasts or s lunches or snacks. But because we're going for like picnics here, picnic size snack food, I'm going to be doing these a little bit smaller. 
So that is spread across quite evenly. And then what we're going to want to do is just to get this up and over and just to kind of compact this down. So you fold it across. Then we get our egg wash, brush it across here and a little bit down here as well, just to make sure it sticks down properly, like so. Let me just cut across here, a little bit more egg under here, and just squish that down. So that's our basic shape for our sausage roll, and this is where you decide how many you want to cut it into. So I'm probably going to go for about, see if I can get four out of this. So just cut it down. And just do some marks in the top and then you brush the top and round the sides with some more of your egg wash like so then you take your sausage rolls and you arrange them onto a baking tray with a little bit of baking paper on it so it doesn't stick these are different sizes but that really doesn't matter the well, way it doesn't matter to me because Different people want different amounts of sausage roll. Some people want a larger sausage roll. Some people want a smaller sausage roll. For me, this is good sizes. It's just this one that's a bit bigger. So that's for someone who's slightly hungrier. So I'm just gonna repeat this process with the rest of our sausage meat. This should get us about eight sausage rolls and then we can put them in the oven. As I thought, I got eight of the suckers out of that. So these can now go into the oven for approximately 15 minutes or so, probably somewhere between 15 to 20 minutes until the meat is cooked and we've got a lovely golden brown, hopefully puffy pastry. So these are gonna go into the oven and we'll be back in about 15 to 20 minutes. So I'll see you then. Feeling hot, hot, hot. Right, it's been about 18 minutes, probably. And let's check these bad boys out. Oh, hello, wow. Look at those, those look bang on. They have puffed up so nicely. They smell incredible. They've got the right amount of color on them. And you can probably see here that the juice coming out has colored that lovely orange color of the smoked paprika. So the downside of this is we've now got to get these onto a wire rack to cool down before we can try one, which sucks because I really want to try one now. But those look absolutely bang on. In fact, I'm gonna see if I can just bring them a bit closer up to the camera so you can check them out. Look at those, look how gorgeous and golden they are. Those are absolutely perfect. You can see the meat has cooked lovely. Oh, I can't wait to try one of these. So I'm gonna very, very carefully get these onto a wire rack, let them cool down, and then we can try one out. Right, check out these beauties. They've had the time to cool. Not a lot of time to be honest, probably about half an hour because I can't wait any longer. I've stacked these up into a fancy pile because I was taking thumbnails for the uh, video and for the website, etc., etc. But I've had enough waiting and I really want to eat these. Oh, look at those. Those have probably turned out as some of the best sausage looking rolls, sausage looking rolls, <laughs> best looking sausage rolls that I have made. And yeah, I'm probably gonna have to do this, I'm sorry. Yoink. So I've got a plate for my sausage roll because these are gonna be super flaky because of the super flaky puff pastry. But that is your sausage roll. Wasn't that super simple? Really, really easy. You really don't need much sausage meat, puff pastry, then whatever seasonings you wanna put into your sausage roll meat it is entirely up to you. I am going to try this because I've waited too long. Half an hour is too long to wait for one of these. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Mm. <clears throat> I'm sorry, there's absolutely no polite way to eat those. Oh, that is so good. You get the smokiness from the smoked paprika and you just get a kick from the cayenne pepper. Oh, it's amazing. Slight hint in the mustard as well. That is so good. I'm telling you, you have to try these. They are so, so simple. They will be amazing in any picnic. If you bring these along, you will be the star of the show because these are fantastic. Best thing about these is you can mix them up. You can try whatever you want in them, but this is my preferred version. And oh, seriously, you have to give them a go because they are so simple and they will elevate absolutely any picnic. 
So I think that was a brilliant start to what will hopefully turn into a little picnic snack playlist. Um, I'm really happy with these. They turned out superbly. They're probably one of the nicest sausage rolls I've ever made. And from such, such simple ingredients as well. So I urge you to give them a go. If you give them a go, let me know how they turned out. If you twist the recipe around, add different things in, let me know, I'd like to hear about that as well. Also, let me know if you wanna see any other picnic inspired snacks, recipes, anything like that. If you have anything you'd like to see me make, let me know. Otherwise, I'm going to go off and enjoy this now. And then I'm probably gonna make some more of these and take them to work. But otherwise, take care and I will see you on the next Big Friendly Grub. Bye. Ah.